Welcome back. Let's talk about an important term when it comes to programming, and that is operator precedence. Now, what does that mean? Again, we're using our knowledge from math class. It's the idea that if I do 20 plus 3 times 4, it means that different operators have precedence over different ones. That is, we multiply this first equals to 12, and then 20 gets added to 12. Because the Python interpreter is going to follow a basic set of rules. For example, if I do 20 minus 3 here, and let's print this out, click Run, I get 8. Because 3 times 4 gets evaluated first, which equals to 12, and then subtracted from 20. It's not that this goes first, and then we multiply 17 by 4. And this operator precedence shouldn't be new, right? If you've taken any sort of math class, you understand that this is how, well, math works. And this works the same in all programming languages. So the order is this. First, we follow the brackets. So whatever is wrapped in a bracket, we do first. The second is we do the power of. So whatever is done in the power of will be after parentheses. For example, if I do parentheses here and then to the power of, let's say, 2, or let's do plus 2 to the power of 2, well, the first operation that will happen is 20 minus 3 because that's the first precedence. And then we do 2 to the power of 2 because that's the next precedence. And then only after we do that, we add these two together. If I click Run, I get 21, which again makes sense. 17 plus 4. After the power of, we have the multiplication and division. And then finally, the last precedence is addition and subtraction. Now, this isn't going to be a math class. Some people really love math. Some people really don't. But I want to just give you this basic understanding of operator precedence when you see it. We'll do some exercises here to get accustomed to it. But trust me, this is as mathy as we're going to get in this course. The math part of the course is, well, just here. It's going to get a lot more interesting as we learn about different data types. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.